And now, from the heart of Hog Country, here is your Razorback Nation report. All season long, Mike Anderson's been searching for a reliable, long-range gunner as three-point shooting has been a consistent issue for the Hogs. Well, at long last, he may have finally found him based on the last two games. A freshman has been ringing the bell, Antlon Bell. Antlon Bell shocked Georgia last week, coming off the bench to hit five three-pointers. It was fun. It was a big confidence boost for me. I just know I can come in. The coach got the ultra confidence in me now. The freshman's long range prowess is nothing new. His teammates call him Shoot Soon. Yeah, this is the nickname I gave him when I met him uh, earlier this year. Shoot Soon as he get in. But Bell's defensive deficiencies had previously kept him out of games. I think it's improved enormously, especially coming in from high school. I was a pretty good defensive player, but coming into college, it's a big setback. So I had to work hard on defense, just about determination. He's ready to play now. He's got good basketball and intelligence, good instincts, but more importantly, he can put the ball in the hole. The rookie followed up his bulldog bonanza with four more triples at Florida Saturday. He's been doing it in practice. It was just a matter of him taking it to the game. He's playing with a lot of confidence. I know when I knock down the first one, I know like probably next two or three probably going in too. But knowing me, I think I can't miss a shot once I hit the first one. He's one of those guys that I know he can miss three in a row, but I know he has the capacity to come down and make four in a row. That's a big boost for me, knowing that uh, even though I might miss a couple, he has the confidence that I might knock down two or three more. At a 36% clip in SEC play, Bell's aerial aptitude helps open up the court for the Razorbacks. It's important. I think, you know, we haven't. Lit the world up in three-point shots. You'll see him out on the floor quite a bit. 